AITA for cooking food while my roommate's girlfriend was here and offering her some. I am not the oop. Oop is you, darling dear. AITA for cooking food while my roommate's girlfriend was here and offering her some. Originally posted to R, am I the asshole? Original post May 22nd, 2023. I, 21 meters, am from the south. I grew up in New Orleans and Texas. My mom runs a catering business and the majority of clients were either at home in Louisiana or in Texas. I add this to say that I grew up cooking and helping my mom cook for the business. I was frying chicken and catfish when I could reach the stove and making gumbo and buttermilk biscuits at a very young. I'm currently in culinary school right now. I've lived in a rented house on the east coast with my roommate. 22 meters. For a year and a half. He's not a friend or anything. We just linked up because we both needed roommates in the area. He's good to live with and we watch shows and movies together. We hang out and go out for drinks sometimes. I always make friends easy because of being from the south and doing customer service related things since I was a kid. I know how to talk and charm and listen to folk despite being naturally more in the introverted spectrum. My roommate has been seeing his girlfriend 20 meters for like six months. I've met her before and seen her in passing. Roommate and his GF had a two-week break from school things. She still lives at her parents so she decided to stay here the whole two weeks. I was just doing things as I would normally do. It got weird at first when I was about to go mow the lawn and the roommate stopped me and said he wanted to mow. I usually always mow. A couple of days later I was outside washing my car. I asked both of them if they wanted me to do theirs. She looked like she was going to agree but he looked at her angrily so they declined. I cook pretty frequently at home as well and usually let my roommate have some. So any time I'd make some I would say that they could have some and this would get him pissed. Weeks prior when she was here and we were all talking. She mentioned this specific kind of cheesecake that she really likes. So I made and sent out a group text that everyone could have it. My roommate got upset. I don't see anything as overstepping a boundary as this is how I treat him and all guests. The other day he told me how annoying it was to hear his GF talk about how good your roommate can. Fresh baked bread is. I'm not trying to make him look bad or anything. This is simply how I was raised. If I bake two loaves of bread I'm gonna leave it out for the house to eat. Edit the cheesecake is just common courtesy type thing to me. When his parents come over I make pound cake because they like it. If a guest is coming you get, make what they like. Nothing odd about picking up their favorite chips or making some tea when guests arrive. Just how I was raised. Edit wow this has blown up. Just want to say we generally have a good roommate relationship. We're not best friends but it's friendly enough. The only change has been when his GF is here. So lol no I am not looking to for new roommates, to be adopted, or to move but thanks. Here is some more things that upset him. I went to the grocery store and asked if anyone needed anything. I was frying chicken and offered the first best pieces out the oil to them. I changed the oil to my own car. I used a smoker in the backyard to make brisket. I grill and smoke in the backyard and needed a piece of wood cut into a certain way to hold something up. I cut and nailed some wood together in the garage. Feels like I can't even exist while she is here. Final edit I tend to see the good and best in people. So I was not seeing him as being very insecure and was trying to look at this in a more positive light. But he just texted me and said that I greet his GF in too kind of a way and it's annoying that I say, be safe, when she leaves the house. I say this to him and everyone when they they tell me they are going somewhere. He sent me a long text detailing it's bad that I look her in the eyes when she is talking to me. Maybe it is time for a new roommate. Verdict. Not the asshole. Relevant comments from Oop. If a guest is over you make stuff they like. 
When his parents spend time here I bake them pound cake because they like pound cake. Just hospitality. And I was already outside washing mine. Washing his and his GF's car wouldn't be no issue. On the roommate's girlfriend. She's an attractive lady but I hardly know her. Don't have romantic interests in her and I'm not in the business of going after women in. Relationships. Update May 24th, 2023. Oop made an update post that was not approved so he added to the original post. Update added on May 24th, 2023. My account was suspended due to some Reddit error. Probably because I made a new throwaway and received a lot of attention I messaged Reddit and the issue was quickly resolved. So that is why the last post was removed. It's back now. I'm not sure what the rules on updates are here. A lot of people wanted an update I wanted to see my roommate in a more positive light. I tend to try to see the best in people but reading the replies and his recent actions have opened my eyes. I never took him too seriously because he's a pretty harmless little guy in my perspective. There is a big difference in how he lashes out at me compared to his GF. He's gotten big tough with me in text form but only mildly upset when I see him in person. I have taken a step back and looked at anything I could have done to provoke him. Not excusing his behavior. And while I don't believe I am in the wrong for being hospital and hosting a guest if a 75-year-old man were staying with us, I would treat him the same as I have treated his GF. I do realize that he is not from the South. I was told by others in school that women outside the South don't enjoy being called, ma'am. However, I've never seen a lady get angry if I did call her ma'am up here. I call women of all ages, dear, or, darling, and I could see how that could be seen as flirtatious. Even though it's just part of how I speak. Now that he knows I have seen him in his, true form, he doesn't even try to act the way he did. Before, I sent his GF screenshots of the texts he's sent and told her the things he's said. I'm not sure if she is leaving or staying but I've let her know and told her to let me know if she needs any help. I don't plan on moving any time soon as I enjoy having room for a grill and smoker and a garage. He told me he's looking for new places to live and will potentially go back to his parents. I make enough working at a restaurant to afford the rent alone. I would like more going into savings but I'm not worried financially for the time being. I am flattered and overwhelmed by all the positive replies. About a hundred of you told me to thank my mom so I sure will. I grew up working in hospitality with my mom and siblings. My dad is the one that instilled respect into me. He never felt emasculated even when my mom's business ended up making more than he does. They just save their money from their jobs and go on vacation a lot. Thank you for all the kindness and offers for adoption, jobs, relationships, friendships lol. A lot of people wanting gumbo and chicken recipes. Too much to type out but I use curry powder in a lot of things to give it some good flavor. That's how my mom does it. White pepper is essential for that good good fried chicken flavor. This is a repost sub I am not the oop. So his roomie. Upon seeing basic decency and manners. Instead of raising his own bar. Decided to be an utterly pathetic wet wipe of a human being. Seriously. If someone else makes you look bad for the way you treat a GF. Or whatever. Just M-A-A-A-A-A-Y-B-E consider. I dunno. Doing and being better? You're raising my GF standards, how dare you? Reading that list of things that upset the roommate you could hear his screaming masculine. Insecurity a mile away. Op has basic carpentry skills. Basic auto skills. Takes pride in hospitality and is an amazing cook. Hell I'm insecure reading about all of it. But insecurity and jealousy is incredibly unattractive. If he would have just embraced it and been like. Hell yeah sweetheart. Rumi's biscuits are just another perk of dating me. It would have been totally fine. 
I like this oop. Hospitable, skilled, and gives good cooking tips. His roommate on the other hand, yeah, best to let him return to his parents. His mama raised him so right. What a sweet and kind dude. The roommate can kick rocks and flip-flops though. The roommate has ascended to greater heights of insecurity than the world has ever known. He is a pioneer in a way. From his his lofty fortress of inadequacy he is likely looking down on us. Disapproving and sulking. Man. Someone offers me fried chicken. Homemade bread and cheesecake I'm taking them up on all three. God damn, I'd pay this person to be my roommate. Mows the lawn and smokes their own brisket. Question mark. Info. Does Oop use just white pepper or white and black pepper on his chicken? What about red pepper? Yes. This is the most important thing about this update. The chicken recipe. As a southerner, this is just how we do. Even if we hate you. Actually, especially if we hate you kill with kindness lol. I've had a hell of a time deleting, darling, from my vocab. So I get it. Also, no, southern women do not like being called, ma'am, lol. It's just accepted and better than sweetcakes haha. I love how the roommate was like, stop doing the bare minimum or my gf will expect more of me. Quote. No one will regret learning to cook or being able to do basic maintenance. With all the YouTube channels available, it's easier than ever. I'm having a giggle at the mental image of the roommate trying to explain to his parents why he wants to move home. The justifications being used. Mom, you don't understand. He kept looking her in the eye when speaking to her. Quote, Dad, he was being all macho and showing off mowing the lawn and cooking for us. Quote, Son, explain it to us one more time. We're just not getting it. You want to move home because your roommate was nice? That he offered to wash your car? Quote, all visualized in the filter of the cleavers playing the parents lol. What's not to like about a roommate who frequently cooks for you and your guests? Dream roommate as far as I'm concerned. Matthew McConaughey to play the chilled southern roommate in the movie of this post. When I was a small child. If I was playing with my friends and my older brother was around. He'd come and entertain them for a bit, make them laugh, etc., and it made me very upset. I told him he was stealing my friends, and he had to sit me down and explain to me that he was just being himself, that he wasn't trying to upset me, and that my friends would stay friends with me, no matter how fun and entertaining he was they were my friends. After all, I think I was probably around 8 years old. Someone needs to have that exact same talk with this 22-year-old man. It got weird at first when I was about to go mow the lawn and the roommate stopped me and said he wanted to mow. I usually always mow. Probably the first time that child ever used a mower. And only to try look like a man in front of his gf lol. The roommate knew he wasn't measuring up but didn't want to put any effort into treating his gf. Better so he thought it was easier trying to make oop downgrade himself. Oop sounds like a gem. He's definitely going to make his future partner very happy. This man is a treasure and I hope, if he wants to, that he raises up a big brood of children just like him. We need more of his type of person. That guy lost a golden opportunity. If any of the roommates I had in college were half as hospitable and kind as op. I would have done anything to return that kindness to them in any way I could. Ah, the roommate has gone sickly green with jealousy. Poor little lad. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears.
Please like, share, and subscribe.